everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 3 with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Uh, last episode, we built ourselves a petal apothecary. Uh, we grew ourselves some mystical flowers uh, and we used the farming station to grow those automatically up into the uh, higher level or the tall flowers. Uh, next up on the botany path, uh, we're going to create some living wood and living stone. Uh, to do that, we're going to need something called a pure daisy. Now, the pure daisy is going to require four mystical white petals. Uh, so I've got uh, two of the mystical white flowers uh, that we grew last uh, episode uh, in the crafting table to get us the four petals that we need. Now, let's head on over here to the Petal Apothecary. Uh, now, we're going to have to keep this full of water. So, uh, we're going to take a bucket of water from the infinite water source we have around the Petal Apothecary. Uh, fill that up. We're going to take the four white petals and go one, two, three, four. We're just tossing them in with the Q key. Uh, you can see the recipe is uh, is all ready to go. All I need to do is add some seeds. So we're going to throw those in there and that gives us a pure daisy. Now I'm going to place the pure daisy down in my garden here. Now what the pure daisies do is they allow you to take things like uh, logs and stone and turn them into a living version of themselves. So we're going to place these down around the, the pure daisies and we're just going to throw the wood down on this side. And it sounds like I've got a storm brewing in my world. Uh, not the end of the world. Um, it may be a good backdrop since we are doing some something of a little bit of magic here. Uh, now these do take a little bit of time uh, before they start uh, changing over. Uh, it is not super long, but um, it's long enough that I may uh, jump ahead here and uh, we'll jump back in just as they are about to start. And there we go. So the living stone, or sorry, the living rock is now being formed. And any second now, here is the living wood. So uh, now the pure daisy will only transform blocks that are on the same level as them. Uh, they will not affect blocks above or below uh, where they are planted. So uh, let's just vein mine this stuff up really, really quickly, just so we've got it in our inventory. Now, there's a couple other things we want to build uh, this episode. Uh, first up, we're going to want to build a mana pool. Now, this is going to be a collection place for all of the mana that we are going to be generating in the botany pack. So to make a mana pool, you're going to need five living rock. Uh, we're also going to need something called a mana spreader. Uh, this is going to collect mana from around our world and push it into the mana pool. Uh, to build a mana spreader, you're going to need seven living wood and one mystical petal. Uh, now you can use any colored mystical petal uh, in your world. It does not make a difference uh, to this recipe. So we're going to take that mana spreader down and throw it in our inventory. Uh, one other item that we are going to need is some living wood twigs. Uh, now these are very simple to make. They are just two blocks of living wood in a crafting table uh, gets you that living wood twig. I thought I actually heard something um, something spawn. Sometimes these storms will spawn mobs. Um, regardless, we're going to take that living wood twig, uh, throw it into a crafting table uh, so we can build ourselves a wand of the forest. This is going to be how we control uh, where the mana is flowing th from. To build the Wand of Forest, we are going to need two Mystical Petals. It does not matter what color or color combination, uh, though it will affect the overall look of the uh, icon or the wand in your hand, uh, but it does make does not make any difference to the actual functionality of the wand. Uh, we are also going to need three Living Wood Twigs, and that will give, give us our Wand of the Forest. Now, really, really quickly here, we're going to come over, we're going to place down our mana pool, and then we're going to drop our mana spreader just a little bit of a distance away. Uh, it does not make too much of a difference be uh, between where you place these two, although uh, the closer you place them, uh, I guess the quicker it can fill up the mana pool. I'm just placing them for a little bit of a distance apart so we can see the connection a little bit better. What we're going to do is we're going to take our wand of the forest, we're going to shift right click onto the mana spreader, shift right click onto the mana pool, and now these two are linked. Uh, any mana that the mana spreader picks up from the world uh, will be thrown into that mana pool. 
Now, next up, we're going to have to work on uh, getting some items that will be generating the mana uh, to be passed on to the spreader. Uh, but we are almost out of time, so we're going to leave that for the next episode. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter. Uh, I have a uh, Discord page as well that you can feel free to drop by and say hi. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!